people i'm bharat acharya welcome to a new video so in today's video we're going to learn the interface between 8085 microprocessor and 8255 now you know what is 8255 it's called programmable peripheral interface ppi in short what does that mean it's the interface between the mu p your microprocessor and io devices on this side it's connected to the microprocessor on this side it's connected to io devices on various ports A255 has three ports: port A, port B, port C. All ports are 8-bit ports. All ports are bi-directional, which means they can be used as input ports as well as output ports. So, what do you do with these ports? You connect I/O devices at home. As an example, uh, you have a keyboard, a mouse, a printer, a monitor, etc. They are I/O devices. You don't connect them directly to the data bus of the processor. You connect them on ports. Those ports come from a chip like 8255. Of course, this is 8255. This is 1975 system. In modern system, there are better versions of it, but the idea remains the same. The ports perform handshaking because of the handshaking. The data transfer is much more reliable. We've covered all of that. We've made videos on the architecture, on the commands, on the data transfer modes of 8255. That is done. So I'm not explaining that right now. What I'm explaining is basically the interface. That was just an introduction so that you have all of that in your mind. Why we are learning this? Like I always say, before you learn something, you should know why you're learning it. So on this side, 8255 has three ports. To these ports, you connect I/O devices. On this side, it's the MU P, the microprocessor. Now. What are the connections that you need? When I do this diagram in a classroom lecture, I don't make the diagram and then explain it. I make it along with the explanation. Yeah, it's much longer. That's why I'm not doing that in the video because uh, you know the attention span is much lower when you're watching a video as compared to being inside the classroom where I can spot somebody going off track and I can ask that person pay attention. But anyway, so if you're going to make this diagram, this is how you do it. You first focus here, not at the MUP. You first focus here. You draw all the things that you need for 8255. You need your three ports. You need address bus, data bus, and control bus. For address bus, you need two lines, A0 and A1. Now, if you see an architecture video, you know what these two lines do. These two lines are used for internal selection. A1, A0 will decide whether port A will be selected or port B or port C or the control word. So that's the reason why you need it. So based on that, you'll be making the I/O map. Of course, we'll go into details. I'm just telling you right now. You need the data bus. You need control signals. You need a reset signal so that everything stops the moment you reset the microprocessor. And you need to produce the chip select. This is what is designing. Based on the I/O map, you'll have an address. Based on that, you'll have various combinations of zeros and ones, which will put on the decoder and produce the chip select. Now, once you know that you know you need all of these, then you draw your MUP. The connections that come out from the MUP are standard. Whether this was 8255 or 8259 or 8237 or anything in the world, this part of the MUP doesn't change. So you don't focus here. This you know is always going to be constant. So you first make all the buses of the MUP, and then you connect them. You make your I/O map. You do your decoding, and then what we're going to do finally is some simple program showing how this whole uh, circuit works. How to transfer some data to port A? How to transfer some data to port B? A better program: take data from port A and port B, add the two, put the result on port C, etc. So that's what is going to happen in this video. Uh, this was an introduction. You know what I've been doing. You want to watch the whole video? Please come to my website. Learn the whole subject. Enjoy learning the subject. Enjoy the fun of science. When you took engineering, you wanted to understand intelligent things. You wanted to understand technology. There is so much. There is a wealth of knowledge in this subject. It's one of the best subjects of engineering. Come on my website. It's called www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link is given down below. Register yourself as a user. Select the channel you want to watch. This video will be there, of course, in the 8085 channel. So select that 8085 channel. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Of course, there's a payment. This is not my hobby. This is my profession. This is professional service. We keep making videos day in day out. We spend so much time on it. Obviously, there's going to be a fee to it. Otherwise, it won't be viable for us to do this. So, but I've kept the payment ridiculously low. It's one tenth of what we charge in the classroom. But anyways, as I said, we need something. Otherwise, we won't be able to run the show. So anyway, uh, make the payment. How do you make the payment? Debit card, credit card, Paytm, uh, net banking, UPI. Everything works. It's a regular payment gateway, like you use anywhere for shopping, anything online. So once you make the payment, you land back on the same page. But now you'll be able to see the video. All the videos of ADD5. I think ADD5 channel by now has 30, around 30 plus videos. So all those videos will be available to you. You can watch them for the next six months. Uh, some students say, "Sir, my exam is just a week later. Uh, what will I do after that?" My friend, you don't learn like this. You don't learn only from exam point of view. Yeah, your exam is six days from now. Great. You learn it for the exam. You finish all your exams. You enjoy your vacation, short vacation, whatever you get. 
get back and watch the videos. You learn for knowledge. You don't learn only from exam point of view. Uh, the knowledge that you get in this subject is going to take you along far, far way in your career because this subject teaches you technology. You're doing engineering. Technology is the backbone of everything that you learn. Anyway, hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well.